Good morning. Today's children's sermon comes from the Old Testament. It's based on 2 Kings chapter 5, verses 1 through 15. There's no doubt that these last two years will go down in history as the COVID years, and children have definitely been affected by it. Schools have been closed, and you've had to deal with remote learning, and some church and school activities were canceled, and you were told to stay home unless it was absolutely necessary to go out. And if you did go out, you ought to wear a face mask and stay at least six feet from other people. All these things were being done to prevent the spread of the disease and keep people from getting sick. Simple things, but things some people just didn't want to do. Distrusting simple things isn't new, as you'll learn from this story. And diseases aren't anything new either. Even in ancient times, people sometimes were infected by diseases. One disease mentioned in both the Old and New Testaments was leprosy. Leprosy causes sores to break out all over a person's body. And like COVID-19, it was contagious. You could catch it from other people. The Bible tells us that when a person had leprosy, they were to cover the lower part of their face and cry out, unclean, unclean, for as long as they had the disease. And they were forced to live alone and stay away from other people so that the disease would not spread. In our lesson today, we learn about a man named Naaman. He was the commander of the army of Syria. The king of Syria thought very highly of Naaman because he was a brave soldier and he had led the Syrian army to many victories. But Naaman had leprosy. Naaman's wife owned a slave girl from Israel who knew all about the prophet Elisha. And one day the girl told Naaman's wife, I wish my master would go to the prophet in Samaria. He would heal him of his leprosy. But Naaman told the king of Syria what the slave girl had said, and the king answered, Go, I will give you a letter of introduction to take to the king of Israel. So Naaman went to see the king of Israel and showed him the letter. The letter said, I'm sending my servant Naaman to you with this letter for you to heal him of his skin disease. Now the king of Israel was very upset by the letter. He knew that he wasn't a prophet and that he couldn't heal anyone. But Syria was a powerful nation, and the king did not want to offend its king. Now the prophet Elisha heard about Naaman's visit and sent a message to the king of Israel. Tell the man to come to me. Then he will know that there is a prophet in Israel. So Naaman went to see Elisha. He stopped his chariot at Elisha's front door, but Elisha didn't answer the door and sent out a messenger instead. And the messenger told Naaman, go wash yourself in the Jordan River seven times and your skin will be healed. Now Naaman got angry when he heard Elisha's instructions. He thought Elisha's advice was too simple. He thought that to be cured, he would have to do something more difficult. Naaman's servant spoke to him and said, If the prophet had asked you to do some great thing, wouldn't you have done it? But he only said, Wash yourself in the Jordan River and you will be clean. You should be willing to do that. So Naaman went and washed in the Jordan River seven times. And the Bible tells us that the sores on his skin were healed and he was clean. Now, what can we learn from Naaman's story? We all face problems in life. God cares for us. And sometimes the solutions that God offers are simple, as simple as washing in the river or being careful during this pandemic. We should learn not to distrust something just because it seems too simple. So let us pray. Gracious God, we know you care for us. In times of trouble, help us place our trust in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.